After two years of trial and error, the result of the Rathcool boys' labour, most of it in their spare time, now looks almost as impressive as Belfast's other well-known sports car. Because it hasn't been taxed or insured yet, their two-seater sports car is confined to the school playground. However, it's already been passed as roadworthy by official examiners. It's the first time that pupils from a school in Northern Ireland have succeeded in completing an entry for the Build-A-Car competition, which will take place next weekend in England. The highlight of their car is its distinctive banana shape, which may not look right, but according to the experts, reduces wind resistance and improves road holding. The Rathcool group are hopeful that their car will fare better than most of its rivals, because two years ago the plans for their car won the design section of the same competition. The car is the brainchild of 17-year-old Colin Green. We are not good testing out uh, fuel consumption and uh, uh, performance in that because it, we're restricted a lot of time. It's uh, a lot of time getting the body not prepared and getting it over the competition. But we reckon it would do very well. The consumption probably would be around about 50, 55 minutes to the gallon because it's a Toyota Cruel engine and Toyota Cruel does very well in the common as it is. So the fiberglass body, it's a very light body, so that made it up to the, the engine. But it's very lightweight, so it would probably give very good consumption and good performance. One of the car's luxury touches is a lighting control system built by two boys who at 13 were the youngest on the project. It uses a photocell to automatically switch on the lamps with the approach of darkness. Teacher Raymond Caldwell, who supervised the project, assesses its benefits. So the whole idea of the project was a challenge, a challenge to youth, and the actual uh, problem and problem solving that's involved in a project of this type. The actual the idea being that each time they come up with uh, a problem, uh, they have to find several solutions and decide on the solution. It's, it's much like we do in everyday life. Uh, young people tend to take this for granted, whereas in the technical studies, we try to teach them to uh, think of a problem through to its logical conclusion and then develop that to uh, finished product. And this is really what we're trying to do.